to our special segment quarter se quarter tak surbi today brings us expectations from the consumer durable space surbi q4 is generally a strong quarter for the consumer durable sector usually due to higher dependence of summer driven products however this time the summer led demand did not play out as expected now this was largely due to unseasonal rains to push demand companies did start offering higher discounts but the continuing inflation pressure did not aid the volume growth For Q4 FY23, among all the players, IFB Industries is expected to outperform with a revenue growth of over 20%, while other players are expected to see a revenue growth of anywhere between 4 to 15%. High competitive pressure and lower volumes are likely to impact EBITDA margins. Blue Star and Waldas are expected to see an EBITDA margin expansion of 20 to 50 basis points, while Whirlpool is likely to see a decline of 20 basis points. Now moving on to the consumer electrical segment the outperformance from the largest product category cables and wires is expected to continue backed by high demand from the industrial segment for fans however primary sales are expected to be lower due to high inventory of non rated fans the key outperformers in terms of revenue growth is likely to be orient electric now this is largely because of a low base and polycap which is led by growth in the cable segment Crompton Greaves Consumer Electricals is expected to see a revenue growth of 18%, but this is largely due to their merger with Butterfly Gandhimati. Higher commodity prices are likely to see an impact on their EBITDA margins. All companies except Bajaj Electricals are likely to see a contraction from anywhere between 20 to 300 basis points. Bajaj Electricals will however see an expansion due to a lower base. Crompton is an outlier here. The company will see the highest EBITDA margin contraction due to increase in expenses due to butterfly integration. Some things that we'll be watching out from the consumer durable space is one, management commentary about the demand revival, two, any price review decisions, whether they revise the outlook on margins considering the high competitive pressure, and three, their future growth or capex plans. Finally, leaving you with the valuations in the consumer durable space, Waltas is trading at 46 times FY24 PE, and IFP is inexpensive, trading at 22 times FY24 PE. In the consumer electrical space, Havells is the most expensive, trading at over 50 times FY24 PE, while the rest of the players are trading anywhere between 30 to 40 times FY24 PE. All right, Surbhi, thanks a lot for that. Well, uh, Harshit Kapadia, who's the Vice President, Industrials, Consumer Durables and Electricals at Ilara Capital, is joining in. Harshit, good morning. I think the focus has now moved away from earnings and onto the organizational, you know, uh, restructuring that we've seen for Crompton. Right, the stock is down almost twelve percent. I understand that there is a bit of uncertainty because uh, Mr. Pramit Ghosh, who's taking over as the new MD and CEO, may not have uh, the caliber to take the business forward. At least that's what the street believes. There's some uncertainty there, but your own thoughts as uh, an investor, how do you approach it? Uh, so uh, rightly said, uh, you know, Mr. Shantanu Posa and Matthew Jobs did an extremely uh, wonderful job in you know re- recreating and reshaping Compton Consumer with new products and uh, rejigging its uh, distribution model, coming out with uh, innovative products. So compared to that, uh, we don't have. Uh, with him Matthew Jobs uh, right now on board but Mr Khosla would be as an executive vice chairman for a year and then will be taking a non executive role and Mr Pramit Ghosh who's largely been an investor banker in his uh, most of his career is right now given in charge of this new entity so investors as well as uh, analysts are worried about you know how things are going to uh, play out with integration with butterfly gandhimati so we'll be more cautiously watching on his strategy and you know how he wants to uh, you know redo this business and his strategy forward Mm. Hi Arshad the morning uh Harshad how do you approach this space though you know these unseasonal rains they had a were a bit of a dampener but do you think things are still back on track and what's your top pick from the space so things are still uncertain in this uh, market as well uh, and largely on the consumer durable side uh, but april has seen some uh, momentum picking up uh, with summer uh, also picking up so that is uh, partly a good news that is what we uh, hear on ground uh however on the pricing front still the price concern remains uh, uh, none of the companies are able to take a price hike so margins are going to uh, be soft uh, if you remember last year april has been one of the best ever month uh, in life of durable industry because we were coming out from two bad years of covid in summers so 
we are coming from a high base so that will also have a uh, some sort of a uh, uh, you know repercussions on the growth part as far as april is concerned but we'll keep on uh, watching this space though there is a hope of extended summer which can also uh, make sure that the uh, market may revive so that is a hope that we are building on <clears throat> harshit uh, just to sorry go back to crompton uh, where, what's what's it trading at now uh, in terms of valuations if you've given it a look after today's uh, correction uh, we've not heard from the management yet maybe they will be a call later this week maybe they'll join us to talk about uh, the changes the incoming ceo uh, and what would you like to hear what what will uh, uh, sort of get confidence back in your opinion valuations and uh, uh, what would you like to hear sure So on valuation, so on FI twenty four basis, it is trading somewhere at around twenty eight times uh, my earnings multiple, uh, my earnings. Uh, as far as what would uh, you know, what investors is going to get a confidence back? Uh, so largely on the growth part. So there has been a key challenge, you know, for Crompton consumer. They have not been able to grow, uh, gain market share, uh, you know, compared to what some of the other competitors are. The strategy uh, on the new B rated norms have not played out well. So, how they want to now rejig this, uh, you know, this fan business in terms of uh, the new norms which they have set up, and the uh, uh, the appliances business, uh, largely uh, the butterfly, Gandhi uh, Motor business. How are they going to integrate and use uh, some of the products, uh, you know, in the future? Is, is it possible to sell it under Compton brand? you know take over the market so some commentary mm. on that side would be awaited so you know uh, if you look at the entire consumer electrical space um, you you know you compare the valuations right havel seems to be the most expensive our colleague surbi was just telling us that 53 times fy24 while polycab is the least expensive at about 31 times so just from a valuation parameter do you think uh, the risk reward is favorable in names like polycab uh yes certainly so polycab is trying uh, to become a, from a b2b player to b2c player uh, right now the fmeg business is has touched close to you know 1000 crores so from 1000 to 2000 crore is where uh, the big uh, movement may happen but it will take some time so as things improve in polycap uh, i think the re-rating in polycap will continue uh, and as far as havels is concerned uh, possibly there could be some uh, deterioration in valuation as the demand has seen some impact and their margin recovery is the most slowest among the uh, consumer electrical players mm. what about uh, orient uh, electric uh, harshit you know that had a bit of a re-rating in the middle at least that was a candidate the sheet believed with mr khanna in charge you know things would look up market share he had a focus on growth uh now post him moving away what's your view on the stock so in orient electric also uh, see right now uh, they have also started in enter new business called for wires so which is more of growth oriented which is a margin dilutive business uh, my sense was uh, they were focusing on margin recovery as a first step and then grow uh but however now uh, that uh, it seems that uh, their call has now more on growth uh, and less on margins so which won't be viewed very uh, you know discreetly as far as the stock is concerned uh, but once the demand revives you know there could be a different scenario uh, for orient electric but they are the front runners in terms of new launches as far as fans in the b rating norms are concerned so they have done fairly well as far as uh, peers are concerned comparative Okay, just coming back to that, uh, you know, discussion about valuations in the um, in the consumer electrical space. Uh, uh, Havels as a stock, if you look at it, you know, if you map the last one year, in fact, last two years, the stock has done nothing for investors. It's been absolutely flat, and then there are these expensive valuations, right? Uh, would that be an avoid for you, or do you think that it it, it still deserves a premium that it's trading at? uh havels will always trade at premium compared to uh, their peer set uh, and uh, for the right reason so uh, however at 53 times or maybe 50 times uh, it is uh, uh, to a premium so there could be some uh, you know correction which may take place uh, uh, as far as the business is concerned because they have not been able to upscale their margins 
so that has been a key uh, you know position that people are watching about as far as average is concerned so any recovery in margin for them a substantial recovery uh, may reiterate the stock till that time uh, you know it may not be a good buy at this point point okay. at this point in time all right <clears throat> harsh thank you very much good speaking with you appreciate you joining in uh, with that uh, quick take on the consumer uh business consumer businesses and what should we expect from the uh, quarter or take on uh, crompton and the sharp cut that we're seeing is still down about 11 and a half percent